first reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, draw your strength from the Lord and from his mighty power. Put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. For our struggle is not with flesh and blood, but with the principalities, with the powers, with the world rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits in the heavens. Therefore, put on the armor of God, that you may be able to resist on the evil day, and, having done everything, to hold your ground. So stand fast with your loins girded in truth, clothed with righteousness as a breastplate, and your feet shod in readiness for the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, hold faith as a shield, to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. With all prayer and supplication, pray at every opportunity in the Spirit. To that end, be watchful with all perseverance and supplication, for all the holy ones and also for me. That speech may be given me to open my mouth, to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, so that I may have the courage to speak as I must. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalms. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Response Blessed be the Lord, my rock My mercy and my fortress My stronghold, my deliverer My shield, in whom I trust Who subdues my people under me Response Blessed be the Lord, my rock O oh God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-stringed lyre I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings. And deliver David, your servant from the evil sword. Response Blessed be the Lord, my rock. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away, leave this area because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go and tell that fox. Behold, I cast out demons and I perform healings today and tomorrow. And on the third day I accomplish my purpose. Yet I must continue on my way today, tomorrow, and the following day. For it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you, how many times I yearn to gather your children together, as a hen gathers her brood under her wings. But you were unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned. But I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you Lord Jesus Christ.
Hi! If you are new to our channel please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button.